Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Figured 25 year old Connor Sturgeon to go in with a rifle to Old National Bank. It was a day that started out with employees meeting in a boardroom here at about 8 30 this morning when Sturgeon entered, and then it was chaos in downtown with dozens and dozens of first responder vehicles coming here because there had been a shooting. WDRB's Katrina Nickel joins me now with more on how this day unfolded, and really it was just recently that they opened up Main Street again. Right, I mean, Scott, we saw at 8.30 this morning and for even hours after that until 5.30, 6 p.m., cop cars lined the building, surrounded Slugger Field. Now they're here just fixing the windows that were obviously shattered when this all went down, but a lot unfolded here this morning. Shots fired. Shots fired here. At 8.38 Monday morning, LMPD says the calls started coming in. Radio to all units, well, active aggressors, 333 East Main Street at Old National Bank, color buzzing on a video meeting that there's an active shooter inside the building. A man shooting inside Old National Bank. Police said they arrived in three minutes, flooding the streets, running toward the bank. People witnessed the chaos firsthand. Gunfire erupted like right over my head. I don't know if it was going at the bank or out of the bank. Um, I took off. Others relayed the information to police from loved ones hiding inside. Another call from somebody who said his wife's in the building that she said there was an active shooter. She is hiding. Police say Connor Sturgeon, a 25-year-old bank employee, had a rifle and live streamed the shooting. Police shot and killed Sturgeon, but before that, he killed five people, including a close friend of Governor Andy Bashir. Tommy Elliott helped me build my law career, helped me become governor, gave me advice on being a good dad. It's one of the people I talk to most in the world, and very rarely were we talking about my job. Eight others were hurt, including two police officers. Officer Nick Wilt is fighting for his life. The evil that took place today, we shouldn't hear the tears that were coming out from these families. And we know that this was a very heavy day for several dozens of officers that responded here on scene today after the shooting took place. And all those others on the force who've been visiting the hospital mm -hmm. and are worried about their fellow police officers, too. Thanks, Katrina. And
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.